a video review of Momo San Ramen in Waikiki, Oahu, Hawaii. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, entertaining, and in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing this restaurant, Momo San, which is the second ramen restaurant owned by Chef Morimoto famous from Iron Chef Japan, Iron Chef USA. This opened in 2018 in Waikiki, and you may have seen some of my other videos on Waikiki about cheap eats. This is not cheap, but it's pretty good ramen. Momosan is located right across the street from Waikiki Beach on Waikiki's main street. It is at the foot of the Alohilani Resort. On the second floor is Morimoto Asia, which is Morimoto's higher-end Japanese restaurant with higher prices. The eating area at Momosan is quite large. Well, inside it's not. Inside it's kind of small, but it's got a big outdoor patio. If you sit towards the front, you can see Waikiki Beach. If you sit in the back, well, it almost feels feels like you're eating in the middle of a Hawaiian jungle. And I do think the outdoor seating is one of the reasons to eat here because how often do you get to eat ramen outside by the beach? When they bring you the menu, they bring you two. They bring you the food menu and they bring you the drink menu. The food menu has a little saying by Chef Morimoto on the front of it, but to let you know that their noodles have been specifically designed to not get soggy, but you should still eat them right away. Ramen noodles are designed to be eaten quickly while the soup is hot, but before the noodles get sake. The second menu, speaking of sake, it rhymes with it, is the sake menu. Sake drinks, but on the front, it's a map of Japan, and it shows you where all the different sakes are from. And on the back of the sake menu, well, it lets you know that you can get the sake here in a variety of temperatures. Some places serve it just hot or cold, but they will serve it at a temperatures all the way in between, and they've got some suggestions for you on what you should give a try. In addition to the standard tonkatsu, ramen. They've got a whole bunch of different ramens, creative ramens, and frankly, I think the reason why you come here, it's Chef Morimoto. Come here for creative things so you can branch out of the standard tonkatsu ramen that you can get everywhere else. And they've got a variety of other appetizers and entrees as well. I should point out, I think the best time to come here is during happy hour, which is between 5 to 7 p.m. If you like beer, you can get frozen Kirin for $3 or a regular draft Kirin for $2. It's a pretty good deal because because regularly priced is $7 for the draft Kieran. And I don't typically drink beer, but when it's $2, how can you pass that up? I started with the gyoza appetizer because I love gyoza. Gyoza, Japanese pot stickers. And this is a very creative rendition of pot stickers. Now they're not cheap. This is $12, but it's a pork and chive gyoza with a ginger scallion sauce on the top and it's simmering in sake. That's right. When they bring it out to your table, it is simmering and steaming and boiling in that sake because the iron plate that it's on is actually hot. This was quite a tasty gyoza. I usually have to dip gyoza in soy sauce or something like that to taste it up a little bit, but these require no sauce. They've got the sauce on top. Really delicious gyoza. For my main course, I got the tantan ramen, which is a spicy coconut curry with pork chashu, red miso ground pork, ajitama, and cilantro. This was quite delicious. And if you've had laksa before, laksa, it's like a Malaysian soup. This tasted kind of like a Japanese version of laksa, and I like laksa quite a bit. The noodles were good, and as Morimoto said at the beginning, they were nice because they stayed chewy all throughout the experience. That pork that was in it, boy, that was some really tender pork. That has been cooked slow for a long time. It also had an egg in there, and the red miso ground pork, they put it on top of a piece of lettuce so that you can see it kind of all at the top, and then you can mix it in to make it warm. I really like the tantan ramen because it's spicy, but not overly spicy, and it's not overly greasy and not overly heavy. Frankly, it feels just right. And afterwards, and I'm shooting this voiceover just after I ate that, I still feel pretty light and springy, not weighed down like a typical tonkatsu ramen would weigh you down. The tantan ramen, $16. Okay, so all that being said, what's the final rating? Well, those of you who watch my videos regularly, you'll know I rate things on a scale of one to five tofers. And Momosan is going to get four tofers. Why four tofers? Well, the ramen was was really good, but it's expensive. The total damages for the ramen, the gyoza, and the beer for me was a little over $30. That is a lot of money even in Waikiki. If the price went down, then the rating would go up. Would I eat here again? I absolutely would. Hey, you know, and I also did a video about the Momosan instant ramen, and if you're wondering how this compares, 
Frankly, this is a lot better, but it's a lot more expensive. This ramen was $16. The Momo-san Instant Ramen Pouch was about three bucks. So if your travels bring you to Waikiki and you're looking for some creative ramen that's not cheap but is really quite tasty, well definitely check out Momo-san. What I think is pretty funny though is it's right across the street from a McDonald's. So you go from high-end and tasty to hmm, and there's a fan right there. All right, very good. So I hope they'll enjoy being on YouTube. By the way, if you haven't seen my other videos on Hawaii, like Cheap Eats right here, you can click this one. Find the links in the description below to more of my Hawaii series. Well, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of those videos.